How do you appreciate the weird stuff they did with Wind Waker, but it's, shit all over the Majora's Mask weird because stuff? Because one they did. one is good and the other's not. Yeah, uh, so basically. Yeah, Wind, Wind Waker, like they they are making a proper epic video game that you're like, man, this world is incredible. And then in the other one, it's like, here's a bunch of fucking weird shit we cobbled together because we uh, made it in a year. Because we made it in a year out of the after old game. the yeah, like post ocarina. Here's this thing that was supposed to come out on disc in the DD. Yeah. Uh, you know, and here's this tragic little mess we made that where like the menus were not built to support fast <laughs> mask switching, but we're gonna fucking make you want to change the masks all the time anyway because of all the dumb shit mm, we're putting. That's in why here. you play the 3DS version. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they have an opportunity to solve the logistical issues oh, yeah. with that game, but like the Story I mean, and all that stuff, the way it is told, the time stuff, nope. I mean, Ocarina, nope. it was a pain to, on 64, equip and unequip yeah. the Iron Boots. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and everybody and you get that fully, pass. Everybody, because that was one part of the game. Think about the rest of that game. <laughs> it's a perfect video game. Yeah. One, one brief <laughs> section of the game where it was kind of annoying. Think about the bulk of Majora's Mask. I mean, you do have to switch masks a lot. Yeah. And I, it is really nice being able to do it on that screen. Now you're coming around. No, it's, you're calling it like a steaming pile of feces. I believe it is a great Zelda they knocked game. some of the steam off of it by putding it out <laughs> on 3DS so and giving you a, a, a sub screen right there underneath your main screen. Oh, oh, tragic, congratulations. Tragic not little a, mess. Not a real Zelda That's game. That's pretty good. By definition, it's like it's Zelda Gaiden. It's yeah, a fucking it, side yeah, story. It totally it is, is not. It is not a real Zelda game. The side story? What do you mean? Every Zelda it game takes place. It is the Legend place. of Zelda Gaiden. <laughs> By very definition, it's a fucking si- Gaiden means side story. That's, so what does is, Ninja Gaiden mean? What is that? Ninja side story. The what was the first Ninja game? <laughs> they fucked up. That shit's crazy. <laughs> I would love to see Ninja come out of Tecmo <laughs> at some point. And they're just like, Here, we're finally getting back to what really fucking Is there matters. not any game just called Ninja? I mean, yeah, Sega did a game called... Okay. It's, it's typically referred to as Sega Ninja in okay. a lot of cases, but, but yeah. Um, ah, it's not some weird little spin-off experiment. This isn't like the God of Dude, War game exactly on Nokia. It's the definition of a weird little spin-off experiment. Oh, it's a full-ass Zelda game, full length. Does oh wait whatever it's a losing battle here. It's this crazy chaotic thing they knocked out in in a brief knocked period of time. Out. One of the most and unique games I've ever played. Dude, in my they life. made that game in a year. Come yeah, on, which is that is the definition of knocking out a product. Uh, I, <laughs> it's fine if you want to like it, but yeah, totally. I can't disagree yeah. with anything that Jeff is saying here. That it's a steaming pile of shit. Well, whatever. That's that is entirely <laughs> subjective, but. Good lord. It, it, it they basically, knocked, again, they knocked some of the steam off like for, it, for the new 3DS. It very much feels like a, an Ocarina of Time expansion pack. Yeah. If they wanted to do, if they wanted to just knock out an Ocarina of Time thing to cash in on its popularity, it would all be in the style of Ocarina of Time with just a bunch of like, it'd be like the Master Quest. Like, oh, we moved some shit around in some dungeons and uh, we flipped the well, world no, around. I mean, okay, they, they gave the tools for, to Ocarina to, to them and said like, oh, you know, do something weird. And they did. And fine, some people are into that, but it's like not for everyone. Like, you can't sit there and tell me like, oh, every Legend of Zelda fan has to play this. It's like the best one. Like, no, it's, it's, it's so weird, weird. It's a weird, crazy thing. It is so weird. I understand it turning some people off, just like Wind Waker turned some people off with the, the sailing but, but and the stuff. People that were turned off by Wind Waker, it's the art style thing. Fucking assholes. Yeah, they were. They yeah. were fucking assholes. Well, the, the, the main thing <laughs> that that. <laughs> Th- that all hinged on them going like, I want mature Zelda. Fuck this shit. The blades need to bleed. <laughs> Give me that thing for Space World. And right, those guys right. are fucking dicks. Well, there, I think there's two camps here. There's the, the dicks that were just mad because it looked like kitty shit or whatever. Because yeah. the art style, which, yeah, fuck those If people. you want to tell me the back third of that game should have been tightened up and the sailing was a bit much, I am with you. That's like the, the other the, camp. The, the, yes. There's the, the, the treasure map stuff yep. and, is and, too much. And the sailing is a bit slow and having to change the wind direction. Which, again... Nintendo with these HD or with with these remakes, that Wind yeah. Waker on Wii U is but awesome. even at the time, like Wind Waker, yeah, yeah. Even though it wasn't actually the case, Wind Waker does such a great job with a sense of scope and a sense yeah. of scale. Where like you feel like that world is huge. Oh, and just the freedom. It's like oh, yeah. I see this island on the horizon. Like, I'll just see there. what's it's on like, there. Well, maybe there's a heart container. I don't yeah. know or nothing. Fuck it. And, you know, and, and that game is incredible. That is, a, that is a fantastic game. That yeah. is a perfect follow-up to something like Ocarina as well. It's a perfect follow-up to Majora's Mask. Yeah. They which was fucking, the perfect follow-up oh, to Ocarina sweep away this dog shit, forget it ever happened, and get back to the, <laughs> the legend of goddamn Zelda. Dog shit. <laughs> Only with an amazing art style and water. 
Last time we had a horse. That was cool. What if your horse was a boat? <laughs> sure. Let's go. Or you can turn into a Goron and do a cool spinny thing and spike shoot you know at you. Keep, you can, keep your fucking you know mask. We got yeah. the king of red yeah. lions here. Yeah, yeah, he's cool as hell. a fucking ROM hack. Like, oh, <laughs> hey, if you put on this mask, you turn into this other character that we happen to have the assets for fun, right? And like, we no, have this living world that hasn't been seen before in the series with NPCs that actually matter with schedules that go about their days. And that's never been done before. After the series. idea that was not actually fun to play. It's fun. Oh. Have you ever seen a red lion before? In real life, we've got the king of them over here. Yeah. Oh wow! Hey, hey, you don't you're preaching to the choir with Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker, and it, it's you know, and it's a shame because I think that they need to like, and, and you know, from Twilight Princess and you know, and before that, like, they need to diverge from the Legend of Zelda's typical blueprint. Yes, and the real shame of it is that Majora's Mask was them trying to take that shot, and I feel like they bungled it every step of the way. In a way where it's like this, yeah. I mean, great. You got away from you know, kind of the hey, we got this many dungeons, and you get a, an, an item in each dungeon, and then you use this <coughs> item to do this, and then you know, like all that sort of stuff that you know weighs down the Legend of Zelda in a lot of ways. But which do you agree that uh, Link Between Worlds actually made some yeah, really good totally. steps forward? The, as the far Link as Link Between Worlds is is a fantastic fucking game. Just the the recharging the cooldown meter yep. thing and attacking dungeons in whatever order you yeah, want. It, like those are it, great. It, ways. It's a really interesting way to subvert all the stuff from that game while still tying it nostalgically to one of the to the best game in the franchise.